Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Caliber Home Loans. At Caliber Wholesale, our products make us different and our people make us great. Caliber Home Loans Incorporated is an industry product leader with a full offering of core conventional and government products, coupled with our innovative non-agency portfolio lending products. Contact us to learn more. Welcome to another edition of Master the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, and this is created exclusively for Mortgage News Network. Rates bounced around a little bit last week, and according to the Mortgage Bankers Association, refinances are still doing well, but when you compare them to where they were just a few weeks ago, they're significantly slower with just a small increase in rates. Kind of speaks to how sensitive we know this already, that interest rates are to just a small, uh, refinances are rather to just a small change higher in interest rates. You know, if interest rates moved up just a little bit more from here, we could see an even more significant slowdown in refinances, although actual interest rates would be great. Now, on the other hand, the purchase side of the market not affected really by these smaller moves in rates. Purchase market going strong. We see rents are rising. We also see that the demand for homes is very strong. There's not a lot of inventory out there. And we're going to get data this week that I think will continue to show strength in the housing market. But the customer's mindset right now is one of, you know, the media is talking about some negativity out there. There's not a lot of homes for sale. They may have to settle for something. They have to come in at full price or even better. So we have to continue to show them and articulate the opportunity that's out there. And I think when we see the data come out this week, we'll see that the demand will remain strong and that will continue into the future. Now, I know that the media continues to try to put a negative spin on this, but the fact is, is that when you look at the housing market right now, we're near all time lows in inventory. We're also in a great situation on the demand side where when you take a look demographically, there should be a new crop of first time home buyers coming into the market greater than the previous year for the next nine years. And yet the media talks about things like, well, home prices are going up, so that means they're less affordable. That's not true. So let's talk about affordability. What is affordability on a home? It's not just the price, it's a mixture of things. It's the price alongside with what interest rates are. And while interest rates might vacillate, we don't see interest rates going up significantly for some time. Remember, there's there's really not a lot of inflation to spur that on. And while again, they may move a little bit higher or a little bit lower from here, we don't see a real push to see interest rates get on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage towards 5% anytime in the foreseeable future. That gives a lot of runway to the housing market from the affordability standpoint, because that helps keep the monthly payment very reasonable. The other aspect of this is income. Income has a huge impact on affordability. And we just got the jobs report a couple of Fridays ago. And we saw that incomes are rising overall at 2.6% year over year. But the private sector incomes are much stronger than that. Believe it or not, 4.9%. A lot of the people purchasing homes are coming from that area. So we've talked about this before, but again, with the housing news coming up this week, and a lot of talk in the media that we'll see, it always is a good reminder to remember the relationship between income and payment. If somebody's principal and interest payment were, let's say, $1,000 a month, their income is typically going to be about five times that are $5,000. So if their payment were to go up 5% because they didn't buy a house last year and now it costs them 5% more, well, their income doesn't have to go up 5%. It only has to go up 1% to match that $50 increase in payment as $50 more in income. makes it a net neutral. This is an important talking point for you with your customers, with your real estate agents, and even with the media who misunderstands this. We know that it's very important to not see home prices get out of control. And yes, it is overheating in certain areas, but many of those areas where we see 10% appreciation, their levels of income are going up five, six, 7% per year. You can easily handle 10%. If you think about that five times multiplier, if interest rates this did stay the same, even a 10% rise in home prices, as long as you're seeing incomes go up by about 2%. Now, we don't want to cut it that thin, but you should be able to see a net neutral impact there. We also have to think about rents. Rents are going up rather dramatically. And we saw a report from Zillow that showed rents just in the past two years, on average, going up from $1,250 to about $1,410 per month. 
very significant rise in just the past two years. So we're seeing an acceleration there. Again, not a lot of homes on the market. So this is all good news if you're an investing in an investing mode in real estate, whether it be your primary residence or buying homes, it shows that there is good support for those prices. And although perhaps not a whole lot, heck of a lot of inventory, maybe you have to pony up for it today, I think you'll be rewarded in the future. All right, if you want to get more information on this and if you want to see every market around the country with affordability levels and forecasts for appreciation that you can share and co-brand, just sign up for MBS Highway. It's easy to do. Hope you have a great day. See you next week. Bye-bye. Your reputation with your referring business partners depends largely on the lenders you recommend. This is why you'll want to choose a partner who shares your commitment to customer service. At Caliber Home Loans, our products make us different and our people make us great. A leading product innovator. In addition to our core conventional, government, and jumbo loans, we've created our own non-agency portfolio lending products. These enable you to assist creditworthy clients who can demonstrate the ability to repay. To learn more, visit us online at CaliberWholesale.com. This is Mortgage News Network.